So, a customer comes in for a test drive, and we have been taught to say what? Follow me. What kind of word is follow? It's a kinesthetic word. So you take this person and you say, follow me, sir, and the kinesthetic person goes what? I'll follow you inside. Excellent. Perfect. You come back from a test drive with a kinesthetic person, say, follow me, I'll follow you inside. You come back from a test drive with a visual person and say, follow me, I'm not following you anywhere. But you say, I got something great to show you inside. Let's both go inside and look. Wait until you see this. Follow me. Guess what? I'll go inside with you. And if I outright you, I'll outsell you. This is a great way to make that transition to get people inside to a showroom, to a write-up. Now, you wouldn't say, follow me with the auditory people. What would you say with them? Let's go inside and I'll show you the numbers? No, what would you say? Let's go inside. I've got something great to what? Tell you. Wait until you hear this. You'll love how this sounds. So those words, when you take them on the transition inside and then say, follow me, will get you to a write-up. You do that with me. Let's go inside. I've got something great to tell you, auditory, with me. Wait until you hear this, auditory, with me. You'll love how this sounds, auditory, with me, and I'm visual-based. You say it to me, I'm going, I don't want to go inside. No thanks. Give me your card. I'm out of here. But if you say it to my wife, who's what? Auditory. Let's go inside. I've got something great to tell you. Wait until you hear this. You'll love how this sounds. Follow me. Wham. You've got her attention. She'll go inside. What would you say with me? Let's go over it again. Let's go inside. I've got something great to show you. Wait until you see this. You'll love how this looks. Now you've got my attention. Follow me. Making this adjustment with your customers at that transition statement from a test drive into a write-up will get you two extra car deals a month, possibly three. That's what I'm known for. This material is called the Sales Master's Program. It works with the learning and buying style of your customers. So keep that in mind. This is not a beginner's program. If you're still wondering what the road to the sale is and still concerned about product knowledge and how do I do a Foursquare or a write-up, how do I log people into the computer? How do I transfer a call from one phone to another phone? Those are things that you need to already know before you attend this program. Now, here's the other side. If you don't know any of those things, and this is the only training you've ever had, you'll still be successful. Because communication skills will work anywhere. I'll give you a perfect example. Madeline, that's my daughter. Madeline, turn the television off. Madeline, turn the TV off. She's 13 years old watching television. The house could burn down around this kid watching television. She wouldn't know the difference. She's a visual-based child. Harrison, that's my son. He's watching television. He's 11 years old. Harrison, turn the TV off. Harrison, Harrison. He'll turn the television off in two seconds because he'll hear my voice immediately. I only have to call him once. Harrison, dinner, whoop, over to the table. He's there. Madeline, Madeline, Ma you go over and turn the television off. You turn it off, she'll go, what, Dad, what, what? She had no idea you were talking to her. Both of my kids are completely different. I have a visual-based daughter and an auditory-based child, son. Now, my son and daughter, when they were toddlers, small children, my son being auditory-based, he liked toys that made noise. She's visual. She liked toys with flashing lights. You could already see the preferences of the two children. Their brains are wired completely different. We're going to get into that in a couple of minutes as far as the brains. Now, those two children are going to grow up and become consumers. They're going to come into your dealership and buy an automobile. You cannot sell them the same way. Their brains are wired differently. One's visual and one's auditory. What do you do differently? That's what this program is about. So if you're going to take someone in on the test drive, and after the test drive, get them inside, if you don't know what they are, default to the kinesthetic statement. I'll show you the numbers, explain things in detail so you'll feel comfortable. One of them will get in. So the first way to tell what a customer is is the key words. Visual, auditory, and kinesthetic words. If I'm going to see a visual person three days from now, what would you say? I'll see you later. What would you say to the auditory people? I'll talk to you later. We'll say the kinesthetic. And it's not, I'll feel you later. So don't go there. I know you're thinking about that. No, it's not. It's not, I'll feel you later. What is it? It's what? I'll check in with you on Thursday. I'll get back to you on Friday. Get back. Check in. Kinesthetic-based words. This is a great way to communicate with our customers and our kids, our spouse, our coworkers. What happens as a manager, and you're working on the desk, and a salesman comes up, and he's a talker. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. I got this guy out there. He had a BK four years ago. I got all the steps and everything, and the guy on the desk goes, time out, time out, time out. Show me the credit app. What's the guy on the desk? What's the manager? He's visual-based. He doesn't want to see, hear a story. And the, and the salesman says, but I got a great story. Let me tell you a story. And the manager goes, no story. I don't want a story. Show me the credit app. 
but it's a good story. Let me tell you something. No story. Okay, it's a good story. You're going to miss out on a good story. And they work a car deal, transaction. So the talking salesman got his hand slapped by the visual manager for talking too much. Three hours later, there's a switch of the managers, a different person. Now, the same salesman earlier in the day got his hand slapped for what? For talking too much. So now he just walks up. Instead of talking now, he just puts the deal down because that's what the previous manager wanted him to do. But the different manager sitting on the desk looks right at him and goes, so tell me, what do you got today? Tell me, what do you got today? And this, the poor salesman goes, what do I do? And that's why some salespeople sell more with some managers than others because they match up better with a learning style.